US singer R. Kelly prepares to go on trial next month for possession of child sex images. His family have said he is not a monster. In an exclusive interview with Good Morning Britain, the sex trafficker's sisters claimed that racism played a part in his sentencing for sexual abuse. After two decades of allegations, R. Kelly was sentenced to 30 years in prison. And North America correspondent Noel Phillips is live in New York. Uh, Noel, good morning to you. Despite the huge amounts of evidence, R. Kelly's family, they're just not accepting his conviction. Explain that to us. That's right, and their comments have been described as outrageous, with one victim of R. Kelly going as far as saying his sisters are an embarrassment for making such comments, and especially for victims of sexual abuse. And we can reveal for the first time this morning that the convicted sex offender has been writing and sending letters from his prison cell claiming that his 30-year sentence was because of the colour of his skin. And I can tell you, having recently covered his trial here in New York, that was not the case. The evidence against him was compelling, and after all, most of his victims were women of colour. And a, a US prosecutor also involved in that case has told me this was never about race. This was simply the system doing its job in locking up a serial sexual predator. African Americans have always been treated um, unfairly. Unfairly. And so I think that that has a lot to do with it, as well as other factors. There are, what, over 70% of the people, of the men of colour, have been found guilty and then they weren't, that don't mean they're guilty. Just because that he has been found guilty, that doesn't mean he's guilty. Do you accept that he's done anything wrong at all? If he's done anything wrong, we are all, none of us are perfect. But as far as the extent of what they're saying, holding someone hostage, um, and these females were treated like queens, that I don't believe, that doesn't add up. Yeah, it doesn't add up. Robert does not have to hold anyone hostage. Women come at him because of his thousands status of who he is. <laughs> you know, you have thousands of women that come at him. Why does he have to hold a few hostage anywhere? Can you really sit here and say that your brother has not been with underage girls? Okay, I can say he may have been with younger women, but as far as underage girls, you know, and I, and I stress girls, underage girls, who has seen that? Well, it was proven in court that he married the singer Aaliyah when she was 15 years old. I don't know that he we married Aaliyah. That. I don't know that. Yeah. We won't discuss that. I'm not going to discuss that. What about the countless victims who came forward and said, R. Kelly abused me when I was underage, R. Kelly physically abused me, R. Kelly held me against my will and did repulsive things to me? I believe a lot of the alleged victims are bitter. You weren't there in that house. Yeah, but when what all about these the ones that were there? Crimes were being committed. What about the ones that were there? Well, why weren't the witnesses called? The people that said, okay, whenever um, they were asked to, to, to write statements, why weren't they ever called back? What about the people that actually said, no, I've never seen that? A lot of people may say you're delusional. Well, that's them. <laughs> that a lot of yeah. people that are saying I'm delusional, they haven't been where we are. They haven't spoken to him. But can you acknowledge the victims? I'm not going to acknowledge something that I don't have the proof of. If there's a victim, I will acknowledge. But from what I've seen in court and from what I've studied and from what I've read, the only victim I've seen that's been stolen from, lied on, is Robert. No one's talking about the money that was being extorted from Robert. No one's talking about uh, what was stolen from him. No one's talking about the businesses that were in his name. No one's talking about the bank accounts that were in his name. No one's talking about any of the millions of dollars that was ciphered from him. No one's talking about that because he's supposed to be the monster and he's not a monster. He's not a pedophile. He was just taken advantage of. The judge in the New York trial said in court that that case was essentially not about sex. It was about violence, cruelty and control. And she painted a picture of your brother as someone who was a sex predator. And in so many ways, these other trials coming up will have a similar narrative. We just want to make sure that we support him and give him the strength he needs, the prayers he needs. I'm not so concerned about, um, OK, I'm going to be stressed out about this. I'm going to be stressed out about that. I don't, I don't operate that way. So I, in operating in faith, I just believe that God is going to allow what needs to happen to happen. Why are you concerned about his safety 
at the prison that he's in in Chicago. The main reason I'm concerned about Chicago is because I don't understand how another inmate was even allowed near a high profile uh, person like Robert. I don't understand how were you able to get in his cell and start beating him in his head? How were you able to do that? During the conversations you've had with him, has he ever cried or expressed regret or shown any emotions at all? He'll be like, forgive them, forgive them, forgive That's what them, he says. forgive them. And I said, forgive them? After all the lies, after all the things that have been said about you, um, all these after lawsuits, they everything is about you money, and the, and the only thing that you can say is forgive, is them. forgive them? How can you sit here and say R. Kelly was the victim? A lot of people I just told you. I don't confused. care about what a lot of people, I can only go by what I see, what I know, what I've experienced. That's how I can sit here and say that. I do understand where they come from because I was in an abusive relationship. So I truly understand where they're coming from and I'm not knocking any alleged victims down at all. And, um, and I hope that everybody that's involved is restored and healed, period. But um, the robber that I have met and come to know is, um, is totally opposite person.